gloomy. That's what describes my life. No friends. No love. Mom's now at home. Dad's gone. I had a nice family until Dad left me and Mom behind. Mom said she will never forgive Dad. Dear, goes a lonely me. Come on, don't be too serious. Has a little fun, can't you? And how about if you go see about the hot guy over there? Let's hang out. No. Oh, come on! Your life will be so boring. Let's have some fun. But don't think too much. Just go. You come here. What is it, Mom? How dare you even ask me? We are out of milk. How can I cook? It's your responsibility to take care of this. You are just such a stupid girl. How can I even have a daughter like you? She have thrown you away the moment you were born. Now see what you've done to me, to my life. Everything's ruined. It's been a while since I've been happy, being cared by someone, 
Every time stop at this moment. Hi. How is it going today? It's fine. You want to go for a walk? Sure. Let's go. Is everything okay at home? You know you can trust me. My father left me and mom. Mom has been a workaholic since. She's now at home. She looks depressed. Here, I have something for you. He always accompanies me when I'm going through hard times. I used to talk to him whenever I have nobody to talk to. It's very cute, and if you don't give it to me, how about... I still have one. in your bag. Trust me, I really didn't steal it, Miss Adrian. Adrian can be my witness. Who is Adrian? She's my best friend. She usually sits next to me in class. What does Adrian marry? The same as me. She's a young class man. You can go home now. I will call your mother later. Alright. What did you do at school? I'm already too tired to work, you know? What are you? A two-year-old little baby? Stop acting like this to seek my attention. I didn't seek your attention. I didn't steal anything. Stop arguing with me. You did the wrong thing and you deserve a punishment. But I really didn't do anything. But they found the watch in your bag. Why don't you trust your own daughter? You are not my daughter. You are just another stupid person like your dad. Jimmy will never talk to me like this. He will trust me. I like you. Calls me at this time. Maybe I was too hard on her yesterday. 
sorry dear, mom didn't mean it. Good morning, Miss Japay. Who is this? It's Sophie Evergood, Celestine's teacher. Is there anything wrong with Celestine again, Miss? Celestine hasn't come to school since yesterday. Is everything okay at home? What? I'll call you again later, okay? Celestine is gone. She is gone. She, she left a note. She, she has run away from home. It's all my fault. Oh my god, it's all my fault. <laughs> Calm down, Mr. Pei. Calm down. What happened? I didn't trust her. I had a fight the day you called me. I, I said. I must have heard her feelings. Oh, <laughs> now calm down. I will call the police right away and I will contact you as soon as I have got any information, okay? Oh, alright, alright. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Abigail. Thank you. Your mom is worried about you. Is she? I don't think so. She must be happy with us. I tell you the truth. I don't want to go home. How about coming back to school with me? But Jamie will worry if they come from here. Who is Jamie? He's my friend. He lives next to my house. Okay, um, if he can't find you, he will go back home. We must get you home now. But, let's go. But, let's go. Okay. I think you can have a chat with Dr. Emma tomorrow. Hi, Celestine. I heard you run away from home. Is it true? Yeah. Why did you do that? Um, um, it's okay. You can tell me anything. But I don't want to talk about it. Fine. Who was with you then? My neighbor, Jenny. Justin, are you okay? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. It's all my fault. Oh, I should have paid more attention to you. I should have not been that harsh on you. I'm sorry, okay? I won't leave you again. Really, I promise you. Okay? I'm sorry to interrupt, but I have to continue my conversation with Celestine. Is it okay your mother staying here with us, Celestine? Okay, Celestine. And you mentioned you ran away with your neighbor named Jamie, right? Wait, Jamie? Our neighbor? Yes, he lives next to us. He moved here about two months ago with his parents. But the house next to us has been empty for a year now. Nobody moved there. It's okay, Miss Shepherd. We'll find out soon. So, Celestine, Miss Evergan told me about the stealing incident. What about that? I didn't steal anything. My friend came to my business. Who is your friend? Agent, Agent Wong. Here, let me show you the list of your classmates. There is no Adrian. How can you explain that, Celestine? 
How about Jamie? Your mother said there's no one moved next to your house for a year. Is Jamie really exist? Of course, he can prove it. Why did she faint? Miss Shepard, according to all her symptoms, I'm very sorry to tell you that your daughter is diagnosed with schizophrenia. It's a long-term medical disorder that makes it difficult to distinguish between what is real and unreal. It's really hard for me to ignore them. Sometimes I still forget to ignore them. My mom has changed. <laughs> 